Namaste, good morning. Welcome to my channel and I'm going to take you through a full body 10 minute morning vinyasa flow practice to help you set your intention for the day ahead. This is a great stretching flexibility practice and we're also going to have a little bit of strength as well which is great for energy. So let's begin in balasana, wide like a child's pose. Big toes together, knees far apart. I often begin morning classes this way. I just find it to be a great pose to do when you just get out of bed. So choose the distance that feels the best to you with your knees as you send your hips back towards your heels and melt your heart down. Keep some length in your neck so you're not hiking your shoulders all the way up to your ears. And if you're new to these 10 minute morning yoga classes with me, I always like to encourage this time on the mat to be used as a way to set the tone for the day ahead. So start to think of one word or maybe one phrase or feeling that captures how you want the day to go. Take three deep breaths in the pose. And stay in Balasana, so stay in this shape, but just extend your arms even further out and come up onto your fingertips. So your elbows and arms are no longer touching the mat and crawl the fingertips out even further. So it's okay now if your shoulders lift up towards your ears, just get a big stretch. And relax your hands. Let's come up tabletop pose on hands and knees. And we'll do a variation of cat and cow that is circular. So getting into the side body as much as the front and back. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this one. Just start to trace some circles with your hips and with your shoulders. Keeping your breath going in and out through your nose. getting rid of any aches and pains in your neck, your shoulders, upper back, lower back, and reverse them to the opposite direction. Keep pushing into fingertips and into your knuckles. Take the weight out of your wrists. Coming back through to center, let's find Adho Mukha Svanasana, or downward dog. So walk your hands a couple inches past your shoulders before tucking your toes under and lifting your hips up and back. So we're trying to curl our tailbone up towards the sky while pressing our chest towards our thighs. Don't worry about having your heels touching the mat at this point, especially if you've just woken up. Hamstrings are probably quite tight. And uh, let's inhale forward into your plank pose, strong through your belly, hold here. We're gonna lower all the way down, Bhujangasana, Cobra pose. Roll your shoulders back, keep your elbows bent as you hug them in towards the ribs. Exhale to release, come all the way back up, downward dog, lifting up through your hips. Let's reach our right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Get a big stretch here as you try to lift your knee up as high as it can go. Ashta Chandrasana, our high crescent lunge. Step the right foot forward in between your hands to the top of the mat. You want your feet to be hip width distance apart as you stretch and lift on up. Draw your lower belly in, lift out of the low back. Keep everything facing forward as you sink your hips low. Adding a twist from here, reach your left arm forward, right arm back. As if you're pushing the air down, try to keep your shoulders over your hips. Easy twist, left hand to the floor, right arm extends up to the sky.
Parjvottanasana, you're gonna frame your front foot, let your right hand come down and straighten your right leg any amount as you fall down towards your shin and knee. You might need to bring your back foot in a couple inches. Start to bend into your front knee. Anahatasana, our puppy pose stretch. So from your tabletop stance here, keep your hips over your knees, walk your palms forward and melt your heart towards the mat. Another really wonderful pose I love to do in the morning, especially if you know that you're going to be sitting at a desk today and rounding forward, most likely. Come forward into your sphinx pose, onto your belly, open up through your chest. Take a big breath in here. Exhale to release Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. And let's explore the same thing on the other side. Reach your left leg up, start to bend your left knee and open up your hip nice and wide. Keep pressing your left shoulder down though. So this is really just for your hips into your high crescent lunge. Ashta Chandrasana. Feet should be hip width distance apart. This will help a lot with your balance as you lift on up. Palms facing in towards one another. Roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Engage your abdominals here so core is strong and maintain this as you open into your twist. Right arm forward, left arm back like pushing the energy down, sinking low into your hips, not leaning too far forward, keep the weight back. And your arms are gonna stay in this shape. You're just going to let your right hand come down to the floor into your twist here. Only looking up if it's okay for your neck, otherwise leave that out. Pyramid pose, you can circle that left hand down, start to straighten that left leg any amount. You might need to bring your back foot in a couple inches, folding down. Parjvottanasana. So keep coming back to the intention you want to set for your day. Using this time on the mat for clarity. Bend into that front knee. We're gonna find our tabletop pose for our puppy stretch, Anahat Asana. Keep your hips, so make sure your hips aren't going back like a child's pose. You really wanna maintain this alignment and walk your hands forward. If you'd like to do this one a little differently this time, you can press your hands together, bend your elbows and bring your palms towards the back of your neck back of your head. And Sphinx pose. Think of pulling your heart forward. And this will be our final downward facing dog, sliding the palms back, lifting your hips up. So get a great big stretch here in the pose. And we're gonna meet in the middle. So start to walk your feet forward and your hands back. Uttanasana forward fold. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to here. And turn your heels in, toes out, malasana, into your yogi squat. Bend into your knees, hands at your heart. Use your elbows to press your knees open a little bit wider. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. And sitting your hips down, extend your legs out in front of you. We're gonna take a forward fold. I like to do this more in a yin style, so making it a passive forward fold in the morning, just because muscles tend to be really tight, so it's hard to um, engage properly. That's just how it feels the best for my body. You're welcome to do something different, but you can let your knees bend a little bit and just naturally let yourself round. 
and soften into it. So a big stretch along the posterior chain. Those are all the muscles, everything along the back of your body, from the crown of your head, down the spine, down the back of the legs. And let's roll up, use your hands to push into the floor to come out and come to take a seat cross-legged here. Lift and lengthen up tall. You can bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you, open into your twist. No slouching, no rounding. Release second side, right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, open it up. Facing all the way to center. Close your eyes, rest your hands on your thighs or your knees, sitting up tall. Roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. And if you let yourself get really quiet, listening to your own inside voice, what is it that you need today? What is the best use of your energy? Maybe choosing a one word reminder that captures this. Hands at your heart. Let's close with the chant of Om one time. Inhaling to chant. Big breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this morning yoga practice with me. I would love for you to practice 10 minutes every single day in the morning. It can really do so much to change the way that your day goes. I have tons of them here on YouTube. I'll post the link to the playlist down below. And I also have a free 30 day morning yoga challenge, 10 minutes a day for 30 days. If you'd like to stay on your mat a little bit longer, you can do this five minute affirmation meditation please subscribe and hopefully I'll be practicing again with you tomorrow morning. Namaste.